I mentioned in my previous video that I uh, suggested that if anyone wants to learn um, sort of intuitive dis 101, uh, seek the company of a female. And I don't really mean a re relationship or anything. Talk to your mother, talk to your sister, talk to just a co-worker, uh, whatever. Talk to your daughter even. Um, it's not necessarily uh, an attraction repulsion sort of thing. Just find out how they tick. Um, for a guy, at least. This uh, video is aimed at men. Um, or don't want to do that, or um, whatever reason, it's not an option. Um, just turn on the most loathsome uh, chick show, reality TV show, if you like, or pseudo-reality TV, uh, Orange County, the real Orange County, I think it's called, or Keeping Up with the Kardashians, personal favorite of mine, which everyone has heard me rant about. Um, or uh, Desperate Housewives, something like this. Um, and just, you don't have to get any artistic uh, excitement out of this. I don't expect anyone to do it. it but just as sort of a experiment, watch one of these shows. Uh, or if you uh, have a lunchroom uh, where you work, or if you have access to where a large number of people gather to eat, um, sit near the, uh, the, I don't know, there's always a set of very sort of ridiculously feminine women who talk about feminine things just eavesdrop on their lunchtime conversation um, just listen to what gets discussed I don't mean the overt actions I don't mean the overt things that they talk about the overt things which might strike a guy as completely irrelevant I mean what is it ultimately that they're talking about to us it just to guys often it seems like just a pile of crazy nonsensical unrelated things but if you actually listen carefully with a certain uh, mindset or a certain set of um, filters uh, into your, built into your ear when you start to listen, you, what you'll notice is they're talking about feelings, experiences, um, the intensity of their feelings, and uh, things like this, how things made them feel. Now, it's, to a guy that often seems like ridiculous narcissism, um, but it's not really like that, if you ask me. I don't know. I'm not a female, but, you know, again, this is an interesting study of mine. It's just that to a lot of um, women, I, there are men like this, but to a lot of women, feelings are real, tangible things. Experiences, qualia, I suppose you'd call them, are real. They are as concrete and as real as physics are to the more logical, rational type of person. Um... Now, you can sort of say, okay, well, what does that prove? That um, one could say that I'm making a case for women actually being dumb. <laughs> um, another thing that, mentioned, that was mentioned in the previous video was that I was, uh, I was sort of siding with the hardcore feminists, which I think in this video I'm going to burn my bridges with them. But just, uh, again, take your uh, bimbo blonde uh, at her stereotypical worst or your sexually over-the-top redhead or whatever, um, and just analyze how that mind works and uh, again get you know you may have to hold your nose but just sort of um, think about it just analyze the whole phenomenon of that what what is it that motivates this person what is it that makes that person tick it's experience it's the intuitive part of the human experience that is half of us and, as I mentioned before, even the ancient Greeks admitted, you have to cater to that half. You, it's it's an, an absolute essential that that half be fed, or the cosmos trembles, or there is a big problem. Um, to me, the essential, essentially creative act is the union of opposites, and the intuitive and the rational are certainly an enormous part of that. Overdo it on the rational, and you've got no value. Literally, no value. Everything is literally valueless. Um, we, I think we know what happens when you overdo it on the intuitive. The union of the two, I think, are, or is, the, uh, the ultimately sort of, uh, the ultimate sort of wisdom is to unify the two halves. Uh, we see the male and female halves even un uh, uniting in um, the Jewish Mogan David. 
Um, that's just one interpretation. You see it in the yin yang symbol. Uh, you can. Some people even say they see it in the Christian cross, uh, in the yoni lingam of Hinduism, and it, it doesn't even have to be men and women. It's just the intuitive and the rational, um, yin and yang, that kind of thing. It is something that I think um, that doesn't get proper uh, due, I suppose, in the scientific view of the world much to science's peril because when you start saying well look what science has produced it's produced nothing of value zero nothing at all of value at all because value is intuitive there is no value without the irrational there is no value without the atavistic and the experiential think about that nothing has any value at all unless um, we uh, loosen the logical and rational reins that we put on ourselves. Thank you.